I was not going to upload this week, but then I decided against it. So here we are. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. In today's trans education video, I am going to share with you guys basically how I got on testosterone. I've definitely had a couple requests for this video, so I thought I would kind of go through the process that I had to go through and give you kind of an idea. Obviously, it's going to be different for every single person who tries to go on T, depending on where you are, depending on like how old you are and all of this different stuff. But I thought I would tell you my personal experience and maybe it'll give you a little bit of insight. The first major thing I had to do was wait. As much as it sucks and as much as it's like anxiety causing and awful, you have to wait. I went to so many different places to talk to so many different doctors about starting testosterone and all of them said you have to wait, you have to wait and it was like the worst answer they could have possibly given me. The worst but also the best. Like you know, I know why they have you wait to go on tea. It kind of sucks but like I was already at the point where puberty had already happened so it wasn't like blockers were gonna do anything but expect to wait you're not gonna get tea like that you're not gonna get it like one day be like oh I want testosterone and then the next day I don't go to the doctors and then they're like here's your tea because that doesn't happen one of the things that I had to do was go to this place called the comprehensive gender services program and it's through the University of Michigan but they're basically the people who deal with like all trans people and their medical stuff in the state of Michigan and when I first went and saw them I was 13 and they basically yelled at me and bitched us out because they were like we don't do anything for minors you have to be over 18 for us to service you and so I kind of like left and didn't go back for several years and then it got to the point I was about 15 when we were like okay it's time for Riley to get testosterone. We looked it up, we looked up places that would do it, and everywhere said we had to go through CGSP. So we created a, another appointment, and this time they actually went through, talked with us, gave us the number of the only endocrinologist that deals with trans people in the state, and helped us set up an appointment. Now that appointment was several months out, so here is more waiting because obviously these people, these doctors only work like one day a week and they have so many patients that they already see, so seeing new patients is kind of like hectic and they have to find a place to fit you in. So again, it was a several more months that I had to wait in order to see this doctor. Now in this waiting time period, granted I'd already known a lot about the effects of testosterone and what it would do, the positive side effects, the negative side effects, what it was designed to do for me. And I think it's important to really, really educate yourself on what those things are and what it's going to do, on what the possible effects are, because if you go in uneducated, they're not as likely to prescribe you testosterone, especially if you're a minor. I feel like if you're not a minor, if you're over the age of 18, they're more likely to prescribe you testosterone because you are over 18 and you're legally allowed to like do what you want. But again, at this time I was 15 and I was told that this endocrinologist did not prescribe to anyone on the first appointment and did not prescribe to anyone under 16 and I was 15 at the time. But I had done a lot of my research, I looked at my shit, like I knew exactly what I was going for and I had done a lot of research on it so you want to know basically anything and everything there is to know about testosterone before you go to this appointment. So then it's time to go to the appointment and we end up going to the appointment and literally five minutes in, I shit you not, she was like, oh, okay. I'll, I'll prescribe you tea, you're gonna start in a couple days. And I was like, what, excuse me? And she said basically it was because I was very mature for what we were dealing with. I knew all the facts. I knew everything that was going to affect. I, I knew what I wanted. I had already waited a couple of years since I had originally started to want tea and that was kind of helpful and reassuring to her since I had already been living as male for so long. And she said one of the things was is that I walked in with confidence, like I knew what I wanted, I knew the facts, and that's one of the reasons why she prescribed me tea while I was 15. So really you just gotta know what you're talking about, you gotta know your facts, you gotta know that this is something you really want because this is a semi-permanent thing in your life. Like surgery is permanent, name change is not permanent, but Hormones, obviously if you take a hormone, it is going to affect your body in some ways permanently, like your voice is never gonna go back, you're always gonna have hair if you ever want to stop testosterone. So it's very important that you do know what you want and that you do know the facts behind starting it. But that's basically the story of how I got on testosterone and that was September 26th of 2014 that I got on T. So it has been just over two years that I've been on testosterone. That's all for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a 
a big thumbs up and comment down below what are some future recommendations for trans education videos that I can do for you guys. I love seeing what you guys would like me to talk about and I love adding them to my list so please let me know in the comments. You can subscribe because I think you should because I post three videos a week which is like a lot over on this channel and yeah so subscribe to keep updated and get those little notifications for when I upload a video. You can also follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle on all of my platforms. The links to everything I have will be down in the description below. That's it. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, bye.